In a brightly lit room with windows overlooking the courtyard sits Doug Jackson. A bedroom transformed into an art studio is where he spends many days and many nights. It's here where he pays close detail to every line, every stroke, and every color. Using his headband stylus, he transforms pictures into paintings, and it's no easy task. Born with cerebral palsy in 1953, Doug has lived his entire life unable to use his hands or feet. As a child, he watched his brother draw pictures. Doug quickly realized he wanted to follow in his brother's footsteps. Doug's father and teacher created a hat with an attached stylus and encouraged him to use art to express himself. At just nine years old, he created his first masterpiece, which hangs in his bedroom. You see it and you just can't believe it. Um, I've seen a lot of paintings, but he is just one of the best that I've seen. Jenny Conroy is Doug's helping hand who prepares his palette. We will set the um, the canvas up there for him and he tells us which paints he wants. Sometimes I don't always understand and I'll get the wrong one and he'll tell me no that uh, he needs a different one. Once his colors are poured, Doug spends the next several days to several weeks expressing himself on canvas. And when he gets in a painting he can just um, turn off everything else around him. The finished pictures will leave you in awe. You feel as if you are inside his paintings, sitting in the grass near a hill country home, or enjoying an evening on the beach, watching the waves crash ashore. It's the small details that bring these paintings to life. When you see his paintings, you can see every stroke. You, you, uh, they're just very, very detailed all done with complete concentration. He has a few twitches um, with his disability and um, so he has to concentrate to make that paint go exactly where he wants it. Doug's paintings hang in a gallery outside his room and inside his room he's reminded of the notables he's met along the way. Bum Phillips had his paintings, um, a number of uh, Bob Hope, a number of very well-known people uh, Walter Humphrey. He's an impressionistic painter with an eye for color, and although his disability doesn't allow him to speak, he creates his own language through his paintings. In Groves, Vanessa Holmes with What's Right in Southeast Texas.